Welcome to Adventures in Geocaching with your host, You Got a Friend in PA. All right, everyone. Welcome to another episode and the last Monday video for 2019. I'm back at a local park to do some more caching. Right now, we're going to head our we're going to make our way over to a regular micro one and a half difficulty, one and a half terrain. Let's go get this traditional cache off my list and another smiley for today. We're on our way to ground zero now. Ground zero is up this way. Looks like they're going to put in a new bathroom facility because they tore the old one out. Right there is where the bathroom used to be. All right, heading up this way. I got a cache here once before. Behind the bathroom area. Wonder if it's a recycled location. The squirrel. Be chasing him away, I guess. Alright. 1915 see a nice rotten stump here anything in it nope but I'm two feet away though there's a nice rotten tree here is there anything in this one Well, the fence actually grew into here, into this tree. That's weird. I don't see nothing yet. That stick goes all the way out. I'm not seeing nothing there either. There's a lot of leaves around here. You know what? There it is. Covered up by the leaves. Got a little pill bottle that looks to have nothing but a log inside. I'm going to get it signed. And then we'll make our way deeper into the park. So we can get a multi-cache today. Alright. I put that pill bottle back in a better spot. Instead of down in the middle of the tree with leaves, I tucked it in a hole near the bottom of the rotten tree, covered it with a couple of sticks. Now, I gotta walk deeper into the park, but not too deep, and I'm looking for a sign or a plaque for stage one. And then when I get there, I gotta do something with it to get stage two. All right, this is the plaque that it brings me to. now for me to do my work here to head off to the final all right i did what i had to do for the math and now it's telling me that i'm like 40 feet away not quite sure if i did everything right it seems kind of close I did my searching and I found what I came for. Tucked up there in the corner is the geocache. Now my question is, without anything around here to help me, how do I get it? Because I can't reach. But I might be able to stand on that. Hmm. Let me see if I can use this to grab that well it wasn't too bad i got it little preformed tube with a log what i did was 
as I stood on there, both feet, and I was able to make the grab really quick. This has to be one of the shortest multicasters that I have done. Ground one, plaque, uh, stage one, plaque on the rock, stage two, right up from it, corner pavilion. Well, let me get the sign, let me get it put back, see what else we can do today. All right, heading for cache number three, we got to go across the covered bridge. And got to go on the other side of the dam. There's the dam. As a kid, I used to come swimming here. But now we got to go across the bridge. They put Christmas lights inside too. Got to come back one night and drive through, see what it looks like. Christmas lights are really nicely done. All right, let's get to the area of the geocache. This one's going to be a micro, one and a half difficulty, two terrain. And as we get near the end of the boardwalk, we're getting down near zero also. Six feet. Right here. Five feet right here in this corner. So I have a feeling it's going to be down below. Check out in here real quick though. Nope. It's right back here. Nope, that I fell right back here quick easy find preform tube just takes a little bit to get underneath let me get her signed and put her back we're uh 475 feet down the trail to get another geocache this one's going to be a micro one and a half one and a half let's go for it So is this one in the pine tree? Not seeing anything there, but I am super close. Put her hand in, move a little bit of stuff here. All right, I'm not seeing anything here. There is another one. seeing anything in this one let's go give this one a look one and a half shouldn't be that hard lots of mud right here too now my GPS could be wrong my GPS brought me over here but what if just what if I need to be over here. So now I follow the GPS. Now look, right here is the rock at the base of the tree. And right here is a fake rock. You got a rock under a rock. Now when I came down the trail, my GPS wanted me over at that tree right there. Sometimes you just have to expand your search to make the find. See what we got inside here quick. Just a log in a bag, you have no bison tube or anything. Well, I'm gonna get it signed and we'll move on. The next one we're going for is a micro. The one and a half difficulty, two terrain. We had preformed tubes and we had a fake rock. What do you think we're gonna have this time? I'm seeing the boardwalk. It's within distance. I'm thinking it's going to be another preform tube under the boardwalk. We'll find out. Let's go get this cash. 
This seems to be the easier way down. Nobody's coming. Well, before I go under too far, here's a stump that can move. I don't see anything on the back. Just figured I'd check that out before I make the crawl. You can tell where people have come down this way. Let's see what we can find here. Might have had a kite key in the first one. It was so low I couldn't see it. It was hiding up there like that. Well, let me get a sign, get it back, and move on. Okay, cache number, was that four? No, cache five. Cache five is done. Heading over cache number six for this episode. Another micro, one and a half difficulty, one and a half terrain. Now, I assumed because the area looked like the first one, so I was looking for a preformed tube. Turned out to be a magnetic key holder. And I crawled under deeper than I needed to because I was looking for something round and not something flat. So I need to remind myself, keep the options open for anything. Because I wasted time there because I was looking for one thing when it was something else. Well, let's head down the trail, get some more caches. It's pointing over this way. 20 feet. I see this tree here. This one looks like it has a geo trail going to it. So this is a fairly new cache series. And this one looks like it has a trail. And there we go. Pill bottle. I don't know if you can see it. pill bottle on the tree cool I'm gonna sign it and I'll be back all right folks there's one more cache here that I didn't plan on going for and I probably don't plan on going for it because I know this one's up in a tree I am NOT a tree climber I got friends who are I'm not so i'm gonna go look at it anyway but everybody a lot of people are dnfing it because they don't want to go up in a tree and i think the branch actually goes over the water too so a lot of people are like yeah no not doing it so i'm gonna come down give a look see how far this trail goes because the cache stops down here. So I wonder if the trail does also. If not, maybe they hid some more and are not published yet, or it's an opportunity to come back and actually publish them. But we're getting close. Let's either show you a cache I'm not gonna go for, or I'll show you the end of the trail. One of the two up there on the branch. There's a bison tube hanging. Doesn't look like it would be too difficult. Uh, I'll try to give it a shot. See how sturdy this tree feels. I ain't gonna like it though.
I gotta say, wasn't my favorite cash to get, but I got it. And before that battery dies, I hope you can hear me. This is gonna end the episode. Seven caches, the last one in a tree that I usually don't go for. Well, I enjoyed it and I challenged myself to something new. Thanks for watching. Happy trails. Happy caching. Go get yourself a smiley. See ya.